In this lecture, we'll explore the Cloud Deployment Manager. Google Cloud Deployment Manager allows you to deploy resources by using a configuration file. You can specify all the resources needed for your application in a declarative format using YAML. If you need to combine different resources across different GCP products and services, you can use templates in mix and match resource configurations. These templates can be parameterized and written in either Python or Jinja 2. Cloud Deployment Manager lets you preview the configuration before it's deployed and lets you deploy in parallel. A configuration describes the resources you want for a single deployment. A configuration is a file written in YAML syntax that lists each of the resources you want to create and its respective resource properties. A configuration must contain a resources section followed by the list of resources to create. Each resource must contain three components. Name, the user defined string to identify this resource such as my VM, project data disk, the test network, the type, which is the type of the resource being deployed, such as compute.v1.instance. The base resource types are described and listed in the documentation. And then you have properties, which are the parameters for that specific resource type. They must match the properties for the type, and there are some required properties. This is an example of a configuration file in YAML. Here you can see one resource described. The three required components, name, type, and properties. This configuration file is for deploying a VM instance. You can see the different properties and some of these are required and, and the others optional. A configuration can contain templates, which are parts of the configuration file that have been abstracted into individual building block. Templates are repeatable and can be reused across deployments as necessary. The template file is written in either Python or Jinja 2. The deployment manager system will interpret each template recursively and inline the results within the configuration file. So each template will eventually result in a YAML syntax. So here you can see the unexpanded configuration file where Jinja templates are used. A resource represents a single API resource. This can be an API resource provided by Google managed base types or an API resource provided by a type provider. To specify a resource, you must provide a type for that resource. A type can represent a single API resource such as the base type or a set of resources known as a composite type. A base type creates a single primitive resource. For example, the Google-owned base types include compute.v1.instance, storage.v1.bucket, and sqladmin.v1beta4.database. Base types are supported by an API that supports CRUD, create, read, update, and delete. You can also create custom types, which is an advanced topic. A composite type contains one or more templates that are pre-configured to work together. These templates expand to a set of base types when deployed in a deployment. For example, you can create a composite type that deploys a network load balanced managed instance group. A network load balancer requires multiple Google Cloud Platform resources, and some of the configuration between these resources can be set up in the configuration file. Then this file can be registered with the deployment manager, and it can be reused with different parameters. A manifest is a read-only object that contains the original configuration you provided including any imported templates and also contains the fully expanded resource list created by the deployment manager. When a deployment is updated, 
the deployment manager generates a new manifest file. Because it's read-only, it can't be edited. The runtime configurator is still in beta. The runtime configurator lets you dynamically configure resources and services, communicate states, and send notifications of these data changes. You can trigger applications based on the state data that's provided while, say, a startup procedure is happening. It provides a watcher service and a waiter service. The watcher service watches a specific key pair and returns when the value of the key pair changes. The waiter service waits for a specific end condition and returns a response once that end condition has been met. Now let's take a look at a demo in creating a deployment. In this demo, we'll learn how to deploy a VM using the deployment manager. We're back here in our Google Cloud Platform dashboard. If this is your first demo, make sure you have your billing set up and you're in the correct project. Click down here. If you need to, you can create a new project. In my case, I'm selecting deployment demo. So now let's go to our Cloud Shell by clicking Activate Cloud Shell. And while this is happening, we can take a look at our document here, which provides instructions for this demo. This document can be found in the lecture resources. So here, what we're doing is we're creating a YAML file that contains the configuration to deploy a VM. So this is a script that's actually provided by Google. So nano vm dot YAML will create a new file with a blank file. So now let's go to our code here. So this is the, the code in text format. So this pretty much says that, oh, let's create these resources. And there's only one here of type compute VM1 uh, V1 instance and the name of the deployment and the properties for this deployment. So here in the properties, make sure that you set your project ID to the project ID that you're working on and also for the image and the family name of the OS and the image that you want to load to the VM as well. In this case, I have Debian Cloud and Debian 9. So I'm going to copy this, just this part, control C, control shift V and control O to write. Yes. And then control X to exit the editor. So now let's list to C LS and we can see the VM.yml file. So in order to deploy this, now let's go to, so this is the command to deploy the VM. It's gcloud deployment manager deployments create and then the name of the deployment and then minus minus config and the name of the configuration file. So let's copy this, paste here, hit enter. and we wait. So the create operation completed successfully and there are no errors and this specific deployment has been made. So now let's go and test this. So we go to the navigation menu, compute engine VM instances. And we can see our quick start deployment VM demo here. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.